gospel-based faith trusts Christ implicitly because of what he's done and who he is so that if he tells us to do something we believe him and we do it now that's the simplest connection it's not the most profound or the most important what I'm saying is when you look at the gospel and he says I love you I died for you I rose again for you I made you acceptable to the Father for my sake alone am I trustworthy <laughs> everything in the believer says yes better than anyone and he says well sometime this year go to your closet and pray and don't let anybody see you because you know then you'll do it for the praise of men just go and get more of God we're gonna say okay Now, at that moment, you could turn it into legalism. Yes, you could. Like, oh, I need to obey him because if I don't obey him, God's not going to be on my side. Instead of saying, because God is totally on my side, he's totally trustworthy, and why wouldn't I do what he says? Okay, so that's real simple. And it's number one, that because Christ has shown that he's done enough to get God totally on our side he is trustworthy and he's the one who says when you pray go into your inner room and shut the door and he said okay you say so I'm doing it because you're so good and God loves me so much and why wouldn't I trust you when you tell me to do that 